In this lesson, we're going to add the hourly weather inside the collection view. Earlier we have worked with the current weather data. Now let's start our work with the collection view. So in the code behind file, let's go to the own appearing method. And there we have already consumed the weather API. And this result contains the data that comes from the API. Now let's add a forest loop because we want to get the list of weather data. So we'll add a forest loop. And here inside this, we want a list of weather where we want to iterate. In the root class, we have this list property and this property will contain our hourly weather data. So in the forest loop, we'll access the list property with this result. Now let's recall the list view and collection view concepts which we have discussed in the list view and collection view section. First we'll add a list, then we'll add the data in the list, and finally we'll assign the list to the item source of the collection view. So let's add a list in the weather page code behind file. Now the question is, what's the type of this list? Well, this list will be of type list class which is present inside our models folder. Okay, now let's rename this list to weather list. Then in the constructor, let's initialize this list. Now in the forest loop, let's add the data inside this weather list by using the helper method add. And outside this forest loop, we'll use the cvweather.itemsource equals weather list. The CV weather is our collection view name and we have created this collection view in the weather page XAML file. All right, now in the next lesson, we'll bind the data with our collection view controls. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.